Hey everyone, it's Rob, and in this video, I'm going to show you a ridiculously easy farm for legendary and epic items. This farm is at the Green Defile, which is in Brightwood. You'll have to take on two level 32 normal angry earth mobs and one 33 elite, Meldu the Soldier of Blight. These are really fantastic looking models. I really enjoy this area, so it wasn't difficult for me to come here and farm because I like being in this place to begin with. I spent one hour and 20 minutes here and I killed Meldu 60 times. His respawn timer, it was varied. Sometimes it would be 15 seconds. Sometimes it would be a little over a minute. He was really easy to kill. I was level 48, so we clearly had him way out leveled. And after my 17th time killing him, one of my company mates showed up just to kind of see how it impacted the odds of our loot drops. In that one hour and 20 minutes, I got three epic items, one legendary, and five vials of suspended Azoth. My friend, Excel, who came out and helped, shout out to Excel, he received four epic items. Of note, he was also a level lower than I was, so these named items always ended up being the level that they're supposed to be. They're, they were always, for the epics, they were level 50, and for the legendary we got, it was at level 40. So we received eight really great items within an, an hour and 20 minutes and 60 kills. So that's some really great odds. If you consider the fact that I killed him 60 times and Excel killed him about 40 times, so that puts it right at about 100 collective kills between us and opportunities for loot to drop. We've got seven epic items and one legendary. So that puts the legendary percentage at about one and the epic item percentage at about seven. Now, I did get my first epic item to drop on my 17th kill. And then again, I got the shield to drop a second time on my 19th kill. So remember, there's still randomness to this. However, this is something you can do very early on. Now, these items are fantastic when you're at level 50, but if you're level 60, they're not that great. Now, if you're able to get the legendary sword, brilliant refraction, by the time you're level 40, you're gonna be having a good day because even though it's more of a DPS sword, you throw a Carnelian in that and boy, you're gonna be having a great time tanking when you're level 40. It's gonna make things tremendously easier. But don't sleep on Symbiote's Brand and Eden's Kiss either, because those are a great sword and shield combination that'll make things a lot nicer for you when you get to level 50. When I first showed up, there was no one in the area farming this. So it made it super easy for me to just get in there, get the kills, and have fun while I was doing it. Excel showed up and we just breezed through these. The only thing we didn't see drop was Ball Crystal, but there's always next time. If you're lower level, like 30, 40, get a couple friends, come here, spend an hour murking this boss, and I can almost guarantee that you're all gonna get something that you like. I'm Rob, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in Eternum.